BestBookBits.com presents the Fast Diet Summary. Is it possible to eat well most of the time and get slimmer and healthier as you do it? With the Fast Diet, it is. Dr. Mosley's Fast Diet has become the health phenomenon of our times. And for good reason. This radically approach to weight loss really is simple as it sounds. You eat normally for five days a week, then for just two days, you cut your calorie intake, 600 for men, 500 for women. In this fully revised edition, Michael Morsley introduces the science behind the diet, with an exciting new research into the wider health benefits of intermittent fasting, including studies of asthma, eczema, and diabetes. Minnie Spencer, award-winning food and fashion writer, then explains how to incorporate fasting into your daily life. With a wealth of new detail and psychology of successful dieting, she presents a range of enticing new recipes along with an easy fast diet shopping list and a user-friendly calorie counter to help you sail through your fast days. Whether you're a committed faster or a new recruit to the fast diet, this revised edition is a must. The written and audio summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring the book summary of The Fast Diet. Root the scientifically proven benefits of intermittent fasting. The evolutionary advantage of fasting. For millennia, our ancestors had to survive as hunters and gatherers, which means they had no regular meal schedule. Our ancestors simply ate whenever they had the opportunity and then had to survive days, sometimes weeks, without food. Thus, our bodies evolved to adapt to intermittent fasting. The health benefits of intermittent fasting. What follows is an excerpt from a paper published in a scientific journal, Cell Metabolism. Fasting has been practiced for millennia, but only recently studies have shed light on its role in adaptive cellular responses that reduce oxidative damage and inflammation, optimize energy metabolism, and bolster cellular protection. In lower eukaryotes, chronic fasting extends longevity, in part by reprogramming metabolic and stress resistance pathways. In rodents, intermittent or periodic fasting protects against diabetes, cancers, heart disease, and neurodegeneration. While in humans, it helps reduce obesity, hypertension, asthma, and rheumatoid arthritis. Thus, fasting has the potential to delay aging and help prevent and treat diseases while minimizing the side effects caused by chronic dietary interventions. But if fasting is so healthy, then where does the advice come from that eating several small meals during the day is healthier? In part, that misconception has been promoted by snack manufacturers and faddish diet books. Their reasoning is that if we eat lots of small meals, we are less likely to get hungry enough to eat a high-fat junk meal. This argument seems sound, and there are some studies which show that regular small meals shows benefits whenever we don't end up eating more. But in practice, that is what happens. Recent research has shown that the amount of time we spend not eating has dropped dramatically. If the common advice mentioned before was true, there should have been a reduction in consumption calories with the increased frequency of meals. But exactly the opposite happened. The same study found that compared to 30 years ago, we not only eat 180 more calories in snacks, but we also eat 120 more calories per day on regular meals. The Institute for Clinical and Experimental Medicine in Prague performed a study with two groups of diabetics. Both groups consumed 1,700 calories per day but one group had six meals per day, while the other group's meals were divided in just two per day. Although the amount of calories were the same for both groups, the two-meal group lost an average of 1.4 kilos to 1.5 inches more from their waist than the six-meal snacker group. Hormesis, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. When a little poison is good for you, was an article written in the New Scientist magazine by Professor Mark Madison of the National Institute of Aging in Baltimore and Edward Calabrese. The article explains the theory of hormesis. Hormesis is the idea that a living being is exposed to stress or a toxin. It can toughen up. It is now a well-accepted explanation at how cells operate in biology. Exercise is one example. When you pump iron, what you are doing on a cellular level is damaging your muscles, causing small tears, Your body responds by repairing the damage in the process, growing the muscles stronger. Thinking or having to make decisions can be stressful, yet there is a good evidence that challenging your sin. And the reason it is good is that it produces myelin, a change in the brain aimed at adapting to the stress, similar to a change of the muscles after exercise. Check the book The Talent Code for more details on myelin and the brain. So what has hormesis to do with fasting? While prolonged starvation is clearly bad for your health, there is no evidence that supports period of intermittent fasting are bad. Indeed, the opposite is true. 
fasting and longevity. Scientific evidence which shows that intermediate fasting aids longevity is growing. The article is in the scientific journal Nature stated that while the fundamental mechanisms behind why fasting works are not yet clear, research shows definite benefits. One potential mechanism is the IGF-1 hormone, or insulin-like growth factor 1. This hormone is reduced in your body while fasting, which may lead to a decreased likelihood of developing cancer as well as increasing longevity. When you fast or starve, your body quits the normal growth mode and enters the repair mode where the levels of IGF-1 drop off. Experiments with mice which were engineered not to produce IGF-1 showed that they lived almost twice as long as mice with IGF-1. They also didn't develop diabetes or cancer. What about humans? One study with the Ecuadorians with the Laden syndrome, a genetic mutation which results in low levels of IGF-1, showed that they never developed diabetes or cancer. Dr. Vlada Longa, who performed the studies, concluded that we may need IGF-1 when we are young, but elevated levels later in life may lead to accelerated aging and even illness, such as cancer. Fasting can prevent brain disease and produce happiness. One study showed that when mice vulnerable to Alzheimer were put on an intermittent fasting diet, signs of Alzheimer were delayed for 20 months, equivalently to the 80-year-old person. The mice also showed an increase in the protein known as brain-derived neurotropic factor, which stimulates stem cells to grow into new nerve cells in the hippocampus, an area of the brain responsible for learning and memory. Interestingly enough, the same protein showed antidepressant effects when injected into the brain of rats. If these results transfer to humans, the results would not only mean avoiding potential illnesses, but more happiness. Fasting can help with inflammatory diseases. Asthma sufferers have reported alleviation of symptoms as a result of fasting. One woman, for example, decided to fast to lose weight. Not only did she lose 14 pounds, but her breathing also improved. One study found that individuals under a fasting diet for eight weeks showed improvement in their asthma symptoms just after two weeks. Although not scientifically proven, benefits of fasting can also be reported for eczema sufferers also, an inflammatory condition from which 10% of US population suffers. Fasting can help prevent diabetes. In 2014, 4.9 million people died from diabetes. Intermittent fasting can help prevent diabetes by subsequently increasing the insulin sensitivity of our body. Insulin is the hormone responsible for converting blood glucose to glycogen and store it as an energy in our liver and muscles. When a person suffers from diabetes, his or her body stops responding to insulin as it should. Studies have shown that two weeks of fasting for 20 hours every other day resulted in a high insulin sensitivity in men. This means that the same amount of insulin worked much more effectively in their bodies than it did before. When we fast, our bodies use stored fat cells as energy. These cells are which disturb insulin from working properly. Thus, fasting leads to fewer fat cells and increased insulin efficiency. And that's a wrap on The Fast Diet. Subscribe to our YouTube channel with over 400 video book summaries to watch at your pleasure. Check out our website, bestbookbits.com, where you can read the written summary and download a PDF version. We have video categories, everything from biographies, business and marketing, habits, health, leadership, money, personal development, philosophy, psychology, real estate, relationships, sales, spirituality, success, time management, and travel. For audio book summaries, check out our mixcloud.com forward slash best book bits for the audio podcast version of the book summaries. And last, follow us on Instagram for daily posts and book summaries at best book bits on Instagram. Thanks for watching and listening. Have yourself an amazing day and go out there and try the fast diet.